So you've got that uh, Lily's card over here. So you might be dealing with a, a lot of older uh, people, possibly females. Uh, lilies usually signify women. And that seven of uh, clubs showing that you're having a lot of problems with them. Uh, you know, you're having to defend yourself and you're having to uh, sort through a lot of issues that they might be raising. So maybe they're questioning or criticizing you quite a bit and you're having to defend yourself there. You're very, very stressed out here with that four of spades. Uh, you do need to, to take a little bit of holiday. There might be communication problems going on as well around you. With this eye, you do need to watch your back, but also you do need to use a lot of your experience uh, to sort through issues that you're going through. You're feeling a bit down there with that moon card over here, uh, and you're feeling a bit uh, despondent, upset, maybe crying a little bit as well over issues that are going on around you. So people are making you feel rather disempowered. Uh, maybe they're criticizing you too much, and this is upsetting you quite a bit there. In the past, um, you've got that uh, five of spades together with this coffin card. So you've had to make a clean break from some situation where there was a lot of conflict, it seems. So there was a lot of problems and you've had to cut these people out of your life. You might have been even dealing with legal issues as well. Uh, it seems like whatever you went through, there was some victory in that particular situation. Uh, you are managing to get control back of that situation. Uh, so things are starting to clear up slowly for you there. Now, going into the future, you've got the key card over there, so solutions uh, to problems will be found. Uh, you might need to be asking people around you for some advice on how to deal with situations there. And you, this is, you know, you've got this, uh, the pig, which is about greed, um, and together with that three of spades. So there are problems with people around you. There's still conflict going around. There might be three people around you that are giving you a lot of grief. Um, and you could also be dealing with some legal issues as well with that three of spades. So those are the um, energies for that, those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Wheel of the Year Tarot. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, so it might be that you've actually left this particular job or planning on leaving this particular job that you're doing, ending this cycle. Uh, there might be some money that comes in as a payout um, or a settlement that comes in from working over here, but it looks like you want to end the cycle and move on. You might be having a lot of conflict with these people that you're dealing with. Uh, there might be somebody around you. You've got the Emperor energy there, so this is somebody that is bullying you, bossing you around, and making you feel very uncomfortable and very disempowered at this particular moment. So this is the probably the reason why you want to actually leave this this job. So what's happening with you? You've got the lovers, there's a choice coming in over there, and the wheel of fortune. So big changes. It seems like you've ended this job, or you want to end it at this particular time. You've got a choice that you have to make. Decision time is coming up for you, and a big change coming in. It looks like the universe is bringing in that change. So whatever happens, uh, a big change, maybe events beyond your control coming in for you there to take you out of the situation where you have been feeling very stuck, where the energies are very stagnant. The Wheel of Fortune generally comes in and brings in big changes. So you might be thinking of traveling or you might be thinking of comp doing something completely different. You've got the High Priestess over here. So you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, maybe you've been isolated from the crowd. Maybe nobody's giving you any kind of assistance and you're feeling very, very um, isolated, very unsupported in whatever you're doing. You you have been trying to study or learn things um, by yourself. Maybe people are maybe victimizing you in a certain way. They're certainly talking behind your back. You can see this person's almost been isolated from the crowd. And because, you know, you're spending a lot of time by yourself, so it seems like uh, wherever you're working, uh, you know, people are not really embracing you and they're not even supporting you and they might be talking behind your back and saying very very nasty things the seven of swords is the card of deception deceit lies uh you know backbiting uh, backstabbing really uh maybe even um trying to sabotage your work as well she's got the uh peacock feather with the eye on it so there is a need for you to watch your back really with this particular card so they have somehow isolated you from everybody else they're not giving you any support um they're not even helping you or assisting you and everything that you do they've got something to say about it it seems with that seven of swords 
So what's in your mind? You've got the Nine of Cups over here. You're hoping that things work out for you, that, you know, you want uh, people to like you, you do want people to support you, uh, and you want that satisfaction of a job well done. Uh, and that's been playing on your mind. You want happiness in your career, really. So going into the future, you've got the King of Swords over here, so it looks like you're going to make some kind of decision about what to do. You're very determined, uh, you know, maybe you want to move on, cut ties with this particular company, and this is what's happening with that uh, Ten of Pentacles, and move on. Uh, maybe you want to even pursue some further learning or further training as well. But you're very determined, uh, you know, to get your way, or you're determined to leave this particular situation. Uh, you're very upset about what is going on as well he looks pretty angry here so you know whatever is going on um is making you pretty upset as well now you've got the empress card coming in for you there uh, about what's going on around you so whatever your work is it's something to do something that's very artistic uh, and it's very, very good. Uh, you know, a lot of people do admire it. And you're very unique at what you, you actually do, very, very artistic at what you actually do. And maybe this is the reason why there's a lot of jealousy going around. Now, the Empress uh, card over here, uh, the Empress in this card is sitting by herself there. So you do work very, very independently of everybody else. And whatever you work, you produce is very beautiful. It's very, very unique. And, uh, you know, she works by herself. She's in charge of whatever she does. So you're getting on with things. You're doing things. Uh, but this is probably the reason why people have got all this jealousy against you. You're also waiting for change over here. You can see the, the Empress waiting. She's got the cycles of the moon over there. So you are waiting for things to change for you there. And you are working very, very hard. You put a lot of effort into this particular job. You're very, very focused on it. You're trying to perfect uh, whatever you're doing. So you, maybe you're trying to specialize in this particular job, and you're working very much on your own. You have all the skills, and, but you're also acquiring new skills as you're working there. Now, what's in your mind, you want to have a position where you're in some kind of leadership. You've got a new idea in your head and you want to bring that forth as well. But something seems to be preventing that from happening at the moment. You've got this woman with this balustrade or this banner in front of her. So although you're very good at what you do, something is preventing you from moving forward in your career. It might be the people that you're actually working with that are putting stoppers for you there. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Four of Cups over there, the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. So this is trying to make plans to do something better or something different. You've got all these ideas in your mind. You can see her sitting behind that window over there, and there's a lot of rain. So with the situation that you are in is causing a lot of um, upset. She's also sitting by herself there. So, you know, you are working independently, uh, you know, maybe being... Um, you know, almost thrown out of the group over there, secluded from everybody else and having to carry on by yourself there. You're looking, you're making plans, you, you're looking for a new offer to come in as well. So you're hoping that something new comes in over here. Now, the Four of Cups is about an offer being presented, but being too miserable in the situation to actually see that offer. And it looks like there is something that's going to come in. Whatever you have at the moment, you're very, very dissatisfied with. You're very upset and very, very miserable in that particular job. And you want something new to come in for you. Now, something is going to be coming in. You've got the Nine of Pentacles over here. So whatever work you are doing independently is going to have a good payoff. The Nine of Pentacles is about achieving recognition and achieving financial success for all the work that you are doing independently. So even though you can see this man's working by himself, he's filled his uh, basket with all these grapes. And that those grapes will... Um, produce the money there's coins on the uh the tree there so whatever work hard work you have been putting in and even though they have you have been isolated and excluded from everybody else and you're feeling very despondent it's going to start bringing in that rewards that's going to bring you victory over all the people behind you can see all these people behind him uh, he has taken their swords. So all those people behind, you know, who are uh, causing all, all these problems for you uh, are going to get their karmic justice and you're going to be the one that is victorious in this particular situation. So just keep going. Uh, you know, although you're feeling despondent and you're feeling very miserable, uh, you know, your work is going to start paying off. It's going to shine. It's going to take a turn for the better. And you are going to get victory over all those people that are causing you a lot of grief. So just stay determined, uh, you know, and don't let anybody tell you what to do. This is very, very important with this King of Swords. So, you know, 
it looks like you know with this ten of uh, pentacles this is about finishing a job coming to an end of that particular cycle so maybe like i said you want to leave this particular job but also whatever project you might be working on might be coming to an end of its cycle you have been working hard on it and this might be the thing that pays off in the end recognition is about to come so you do need to hang in there because big change is also about to enter into your arena you might even be signing some new contracts work contracts soon but whatever you have been working on whatever you've been investing in it looks like it's going to start paying dividends soon and you can see a lot of money coming in over there with that Queen of Autumn. Uh, so be practical with respect to how you proceed, the ability to make something more beautiful, meeting someone who will make your dreams come true. So it looks like somebody is coming in over there to give you that assistance and to bring you out of the dark and into the light there. Uh, so recognition will be coming in and victory is going to be coming in for you soon. Uh, and the Eight of Spring says stress that comes from having too many things happening at the same time, successful, multitasking, sudden events or changes. So things are about to start moving for you there. The universe is aligning its energies so that you can proceed forward. And success is going to be coming for you. You're going to be very, very busy soon. You've got the unity card over here, so do the right thing for the right reasons. Compare traditional versus new approaches, uh, which works for you. So with the unity card or the hierophant card, it is good for you to get some advice from people around you. This is very, very important uh, for, from somebody that you can actually trust. You've got the empress over there. So this is about, you know, you're about to be successful at whatever you've been working very, very hard at. You know, success is coming in. Although the five of swords is generally, you know, read as a very conflict, you know, card full of conflict. But you can see this man is victorious over these people that he's been fighting with. He has managed to uh, get one over on them. And you've got that nine of uh, pentacles over there. So money is about to come in over there. So all that hard work uh, is going to start paying off for you. But you must remain determined uh, and don't allow people to walk all over you. So I hope this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.